right here is failure. The community. <laughs> Trying to uh, do these pilot holes on the mast, on the uh, on the pito mast. Can't really deburr from the inside because you can't get the inside. So then I take a small file, very small file, and deburr the inside. tabs on your tape so you can find it. <laughs> Don't you forget it. That's high def. And then I cut them shorter. Time. So I have to do the re-flaring. Re difficulty is, I did all that here in this flaring device. But now it will have to be done inside the plane, which is not going to be easy. Wish me luck. I have no idea how deep this goes. This was filled with um, silicon, and I didn't know how if there would actually be a hole all the way through or not. You have to have a hole all the way through, otherwise the pop rivet can't grab. But it looks pretty good. Hmm? The pitot tube is the uh, airspeed indicator uh, sensing device. It goes underneath the wing like this. So as the air comes in, you see you see them underneath every wing of every airplane. As the air comes in, forces through there, comes up through this tube, and goes into your instrument, and that's how you tell how fast you're going. And the other tube is called the angle of attack tube, and which is activated by this little hole here. So that as you're going up like that, if you're if you're going too steep of an incline, and you could possibly stall, it'll um, it'll set off a signal 
uh, horn inside your plane and it'll say yep, too, st too much angle of attack. So when you're coming in for a landing you can, uh, you can adjust your angle of attack just so so that you get uh, you can slow down enough to land perfectly. If you didn't have that, I, now a lot of people don't have angle of attack instruments, but if you don't have it, and then you're sort of guessing as to how, how to f when to flare and all that. This way, you can you can make much better landings because you know exactly how much to flare and how much and how to uh, control your speed as you're landing. I love these copper clicos. pop rivets aren't so long that they'll hit each other. That's one of my concerns. Hopefully that won't be the case. Make it absolutely perfect. Can't be any gaps whatsoever. See, it's perfect fit. There'll be a silicone bead and stuff, but still.